Hi, I've made this brief video to show one way that you may create an address list that you would then later use to print address labels using Word for Windows version 7 mail merge feature. Right now, we're starting from scratch. We don't have any address database and we're going to create one using Word. So we're going to launch Word. We're going to click on mailings. We're going to click on start mail merge. We want to choose labels. In our case, we're going to be printing sheets of labels that have 30 labels on a page. A typical number is an Avery 8160. Those are three across and 10 down. They're one inch high and 2.63 inches wide and they're on an eight and a half by 11 sheet of, of paper. This is a typical address label size. You may have a different size you need to put the right number in here, but an 8160 is a typical three wide, 10 tall address label sheet. So click OK. The next thing we want to do is to start select the recipients. In our case, we're starting from scratch, so we're going to type a new list. Now at this point, a box pops open and you can drag that box left and right to give you a little more room to see all that's in there. This box includes many built-in headers including title, two address lines, a country, a home phone, a work phone, an email address, and I believe you could add others if you wanted to. In our case, we're trying to keep this simple, so we just really need name, first name, last name, an address, city, state, zip. Now you could leave others in there if you wanted to include email addresses in your records. In our case, we don't want all that data, all those data fields in our way when we're trying to populate our list, so we're going to customize the columns. We're not going to use titles because this is a casual address list, so we're going to delete the title. We have to say yes each time, I'm afraid. We're going to delete the company name. We're going to delete the address line number two. We're going to delete the country since they're all going to be in this country. Now this is up to you. You can leave the home phone, work phone, email addresses if you care to. I'm going to take them out just to make it even more simple. So we're going to take out the work phone and the email address. Now we have first name, last name, one address line, city, state, and zip, and that's all I care to have. Click OK. At this point we can type the first name, Jack, Hit the tab key to jump to the next field. Jones, tab key again. The address line, one, two, three, Main Street. The tab again, any town, tab again, Kentucky, tab again, one, two, three, four, five for the zip code. Now, at this point, if you want to add more names, which I assume you do, click New Entry. And it will give you another blank line where you can continue typing you do this over and over using the tab key to jump between the fields, hitting the new entry button for another new line. When you get done, click OK. At this point, it's actually going to save your address list. It's asking you where you want to save it and what you want to call it. My advice is save this somewhere you can find it. Save it on your desktop. Save it in your documents folder under Christmas list or something that makes sense to you that you can find this a year from now. Also you want to give it a name. We're just going to call it fake demo list and say save it. Okay. Now at this point I'm going to exit Word because all we wanted to do was create an address list that we will use later in another demo. I hope this helped. That was just one way that you can create from scratch an address list database that you can use to populate your address label sheets from year to year. If you're printing Christmas cards or birthday invitations or whatever you need, that's just one way that you can quickly and fairly easily, painlessly create an address list. Just my final word, and this is I urge you to be sure and be careful to save it where you can find it a year from now when you need it. Hope this was helpful. Thanks and have a great day.